Hello and welcome to the Plain Med Channel. The place where medical jargon are simplified in understandable terms. In this video, we will discuss about hand, foot and mouth disease or HFMD in plain and simple terms. Hand, foot and mouth disease, HFMD, is a common viral illness that usually affects young children, but can also affect adults. It is caused by several different types of viruses, including the Coxsackie virus, Enterovirus, Echovirus and Parechovirus. The Coxsackie virus belongs to the family P. Cornaveridae, which includes other common viruses such as the polio virus and the rhinovirus, which causes the common cold. The Enterovirus also belongs to the P. Cornaveridae family and includes various types of viruses that can cause a range of illnesses from mild to severe. Here are the 10 most common viruses that are known to cause HFMD. 1. Coxsackie virus A16. 2. Enterovirus 71, EV-71. 3. Coxsackie virus A4. 4. Coxsackie virus A5. 5. Coxsackie virus A6, 6. Coxsackie virus A7, 7. Coxsackie virus A9, 8. Enterovirus D68, EVD68, 9. Enterovirus 96, 10. Enterovirus 98. The Coxsackie virus A16 and Enterovirus 71 are the most common causes of HFMD. But other viruses from the enterovirus and Coxsackie virus families can also cause the disease. The viruses that cause HFMD are highly contagious and can be easily transmitted from person to person through close contact, coughing, sneezing, or contact with contaminated surfaces or objects. They can survive on surfaces for several hours and can also be spread through contact with fecal matter. The signs and symptoms of hand, foot and mouth disease, HFMD, can vary depending on the age of the person infected and the specific virus causing the infection. Some people may not experience any symptoms at all, while others may have mild to severe symptoms. The most common symptoms of HFMD include fever, sore throat, loss of appetite, painful sores or blisters in the mouth, on the hands, and on the feet, irritability in infants and young children, rash on the buttocks, arms, and legs, less common. The sores or blisters in the mouth can be painful and may make it difficult to eat or drink. The sores or blisters on the hands and feet may also be painful and can make it difficult to walk or use the hands. The fever and other symptoms usually last for a few days to a week, while the sores or blisters may take up to 10 days to heal. In some cases, HFMD can cause more severe symptoms such as meningitis, inflammation of the brain and spinal cord, encephalitis, inflammation of the brain, or other complications. These complications are rare, but they can be serious, especially in infants, young children, and people with weakened immune systems. HFMD is usually spread through contact with an infected person's saliva, mucus, or feces, or by touching contaminated surfaces or objects. The virus can also be spread through coughing and sneezing. How can we prevent HMFD? There are several steps you can take to prevent hand, foot and mouth disease, HFMD, including, 1. Practice good hygiene, wash your hands frequently with soap and water, especially after using the bathroom, changing diapers, and before eating or preparing food. Also, encourage your children to wash their hands frequently and avoid sharing utensils, cups, or other personal items. 2. Keep surfaces clean, disinfect surfaces that are frequently touched, such as doorknobs, toys, and counters, with a disinfectant that is effective against viruses. 3. Avoid close contact with infected individuals. If someone in your household or community has HFMD, try to avoid close contact with them until they are no longer contagious. 4. Teach children to cover their mouths and noses. Teach your children to cover their mouths and noses when coughing or sneezing to reduce the spread of germs. 5. Boost the immune system, eating a healthy diet, getting plenty of rest, and staying hydrated can help boost the immune system and reduce the risk of getting infected with HFMD. 6. 
Stay home if you are sick, if you or your child is experiencing symptoms of HFMD, stay home and avoid contact with others until the symptoms have resolved. By taking these precautions, you can reduce your risk of getting infected with HFMD and prevent the spread of the disease to others. What is the treatment of HFMD? There is no specific treatment for hand, foot and mouth disease, HFMD, as it is a viral infection that will typically resolve on its own within 7 to 10 days. Treatment is focused on managing the symptoms and preventing complications. Here are some ways to alleviate the symptoms. 1. Manage fever and pain. Acetaminophen or ibuprofen can be used to reduce fever and relieve pain. Follow the dosage instructions on the label or consult with your healthcare provider. 2. Use mouthwash or sprays. Mouthwashes or sprays containing numbing agents can help relieve pain from mouth sores. 3. Drink plenty of fluids. Drinking plenty of fluids can help prevent dehydration, especially if the mouth sores make it difficult to eat or drink. 4. Avoid acidic or spicy foods, these types of foods can irritate the mouth sores and make them more painful. 5. Seek medical attention if symptoms worsen, if you or your child experiences severe symptoms such as difficulty breathing, seizures, or signs of dehydration. Seek medical attention immediately. It's important to note that antibiotics are not effective against viruses and should not be used to treat HFMD. Additionally, over-the-counter creams or ointments are not recommended for the sores or blisters on the hands and feet, as they can interfere with the natural healing process. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to share and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to keep updated on more helpful videos. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.